That's the raw for Linford Christie. Let's get back to the commentators headed by Alan Parry. Linford Christie attempts a little piece of history in these championships. If he wins this final in the men's 100 metres, he'll be the first man to lift four titles since the great McDonald Bailey way back in the 1950s. But there has to be a big question mark against Linford, who has been receiving treatment since winning his place in this final on a calf strain and clearly looked way below his best in the semi-final. So the lineup in this tremendous race, Darren Braithwaite, who is an outstanding form, he will run in lane three. Three personal best to his credit in the last week. And the full lineup, Joseph Kikonyo of Kenya, lane one. Linford Christie, Thames Valley Harriers, lane two. Darren Braithwaite, Haringey, lane three. Calvin Smith from the United States, former world record holder and Olympic bronze medalist, lane four. Marcus Adam, Belgrave Harriers, back to uh, something like his best, very close to his personal best, in fact, in the semi-final. He's in lane five. John Regis, who won his semi-final easily, in lane six. Michael Rosswest, who equaled his personal best of 10.40, uh, when second to John Regis in his semi-final, he's in lane seven. Steve Gookie, the 19-year-old who set a new PB, 10.44 in the semi-finals, he's in lane eight. Those with the asterisk against their name have achieved the qualifying time of 10.60. On paper, you would have to suggest that Christie and Regis are likely picks by the selectors, and then the other place could go to almost anyone. Adam, Braithwaite, Ross West, all in contention. A long hole, but away well. Darren Braithwaite made a tremendous start. Ross West is leaving it late. So too is Christie. On the inside, Christie looking good. And Christie might just have made it. It's a photo finish between him and the American former world record holder, Calvin Smith. Well, how he found form like that when he had virtually been stretched off the track at the end of the semi-final, well, that's a hallmark of a great champion. And he's feeling the calf injury again. But well, what a great run by Linford, all things considered. He left it very late to sneak through on Calvin Smith. And they'll need a photo to sort out the positions behind him, I think. But Linford has done it, and that's terrific. And no wonder he's well satisfied to come off the physiotherapist's table and run like that. Great credit to him. In for Christie, second from the right, made a better start, but Braithwaite headed him here. The young man from Haringey in the white top and blue shorts. We look for Regis coming through late, and Adam, those two right in the center of the picture. Calvin Smith in between them. Braithwaite beginning to fade now. Second from the right, desperately close thing on the line. Calvin Smith first, I would think, Christie second, and then an absolute photo for the third place between the likes of Braithwaite, who probably got it, and, uh, well, it was absolute blanket finish. John. Well, Linford doesn't look as sharp as I've seen him look. He's, admittedly, he's been away for 10 days training, and I think he's probably been doing a lot of bulk work. He was accused, of course, of over-racing early on in the season. He's taken a break. He's come back here tonight. Doesn't look quite as sharp as normal. He thinks he's won it, but I think Kelvin Smith probably got him on the line. Well, whatever the photo finally decides, if Linford Christie has got it, then he's equal McDonald Bailey's record. Even if he hasn't, it was a great run, considering where he had been on the physiotherapist's